music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or a big welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kim. This is Cleaning with Kim where we show you the real, the raw, and the ugly. In today's video, that statement could not be truer. Once again, I am going through my house and trying to declutter and organize my life and this was the next stop. This is going to be part two. I will have part one down in the description box if you missed it. We are going through and touching everything in the house and getting it all organized and decluttered. This room has been driving me nuts. I can't find anything. Everything was piled on top of each other. And so we're going to be getting rid of some stuff. We're going to be throwing a lot of stuff away and we are going to be organizing. So if you just need that real raw cleaning motivation to get done whatever you need to get done in your home today, you're definitely in the right spot. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you some before shots. The only thing that I forgot to get a before shot of was underneath my sink, like the cabinet underneath my sink. So if this is your first time here or you haven't seen this area of my house before, this is my combined um, laundry room and bathroom. They're all just one big room. Take a couple steps up and you're in the bathroom. We do have two bathrooms in the house, but this is the main one that a lot of, a lot of people use but it's also the laundry room and it's kind of become just like this catch-all spot literally that gray bucket on top of my dryer was absolutely packed filled to the brim with stuff um and just just the most random stuff like if it needed to go in the laundry room i would just stick it in the bin stuff was falling over it was crazy in here i could not find anything and I felt so bad every time that my husband or my daughter, my older daughter was looking for something and I'm like, it might be in the gray bin. And I was just over it. And that's one thing that'll get me going is when I am fed up and when I am over it, especially when I'm behind on laundry, obviously all of the laundry goes in here. So you couldn't see the floor. You couldn't see the top of the dryer. I had literally memorized the buttons on my dryer because I just had to reach my hand behind there, behind the bin and, you know, type in whatever I needed to do for the dryer. And it was just an overwhelming mess, clutter just lose your mind overwhelming okay so the first thing that i did when i got in here is i want to make a spot on the floor so that's what i did i went ahead and put on a load of laundry thankfully i wasn't too behind on laundry on this day i kind of waited till i sort of caught up on the laundry before i got in here because i knew that was just going to be overwhelming on top of overwhelming um but i had two loads of laundry so i just went ahead and put a load of laundry on that cleared off the floor for me and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take everything and just stick it into the middle of the floor that is what i do when i am decluttering or when i'm dealing with a room that is just beyond messy there's just stuff everywhere and i don't know where to start i will take everything and just push it to the middle of the floor sit down with a trash bag and maybe like whatever, like say I'm in the baby's room or I'm in the toddler room. Sit down with the trash bag and I'll sit down with their little toy bins. And then I will just pick up one thing at a time. Where does it go? Put it in its home. Next thing, pick that thing up. Where does it go? Put it in its home. And it just makes it easier because I'm more monotasking than just looking at the giant mess in front of me. That and I like to work left to right. So those two things right there work for me. They might work for you as well, especially if you get overwhelmed with a room like I do. So that's what we're doing first. We're just going to get everything off of the shelves. We're going to take everything that's just fallen on the sides. I had a whole Monopoly game board that fell off the top of this shelf right here onto the floor. All the Monopoly pieces, all of the money, it went everywhere. And it was, it was just, it was insane this was insane i thought the master bedroom and the closet and all of that was insane and i thought this would be a little less but it really wasn't once i got in here and realized how much stuff is actually in here and just everywhere i realized okay this is kind of on even ground right here 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get everything out. We're gonna get everything into the middle of the floor and then we'll move on. The struggle that I have and that I have had since we moved into this house two years ago is there's no storage, no storage shelves. There's no shelves in the closets. There's no closets for storage space. There's very, very limited cabinet space all throughout the home. I absolutely love, love, love my home. I love where we live. I love that it's three bedrooms. I love the size of the bedrooms. I love everything about my home, except there is zero storage. And so I am working with very, very little. And as a family of five, we have so much stuff and we have accumulated so much stuff. Um, but it's really helping me downsize a lot which is a great thing. It really does, makes you feel really good when you're able to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, but at the same time, it is a challenge because when I'm trying to organize, when I'm trying to declutter, um, I'm only working with so much. Like for this room right here, all I have is this little wooden shelving. And then I have a very small cabinet space underneath my bathroom sink. And then the previous tenants who lived here before us put up these really cute crates on the wall in the bathroom. And so that gives me a few extra little shelves, but that's where I store our um, bath towels and rags and all of that um, because that's really the only place that I could put them. So I'm having to get creative in here and just think of different things, get rid of as much as I can. Um, but like I said, a family of five, we do use quite a few things. So we're going to get everything out into the middle of the floor first, and then we are going to start picking up stuff one by one and seeing where it goes. As I'm going, once everything's in the middle of the floor, I'm basically just going to be putting things into piles, into categories, and it's going to be a little bit of organized chaos. This is just what works for me. If you organize and declutter or deal with a huge mess in a different way, I would love to hear how you do that. Um, I love to hear all of the different ways that we all clean and how we can all learn some tips and tricks from each other. But if this is your first time here, like I said, my name is Kim and I am a stay-at-home mom. I've got three little chillins. Emma is 13. I homeschool her. Ella is four. We've actually started doing a little bit of homeschool stuff with her. And Mason is two years old. Um, if you ask people around here, they will say, I am the manager of the household. I basically do everything that has to do with the household the finances, the meal planning, the cleaning, um, all of the things, the main provider for the kids. My village is not very big, and so it does get absolutely overwhelming. Um, I used to think that if I didn't get it all done, that I was an absolute failure and not going to lie, those intrusive thoughts still try to creep in on me. But actually being here and talking with you guys and knowing that I'm not alone has really helped me tremendously. And I've realized that I'm not a robot. I'm a human and I can only do so much. And so the motto around here is we're just going to do what we can and give each other grace for the rest of it. Give ourselves grace for the rest of it. No judgment around here, no matter what your home may look like. We all of our lives are going to run differently. They're all going to look differently. Some people might have physical struggles, mental struggles, and that's all completely okay. We're going to meet you where you're at and we're going to get this done together. So that's what I do here. I show you the real, I show you the raw, I show you the ugly. If nothing more for you to just not feel like you're alone. And you're like, okay, I, I'm not the only one that struggles with this. And it makes you just feel a little bit better. And in the process, give you that motivation, inspiration, and encouragement to get whatever you need to get done in your home. So that's the thing. That is Cleaning with Kim. I have a wonderful community of ladies here that will cheer you on and say, yeah, me too. Like, I struggle too. And that's okay. It's okay that your house isn't a Pinterest home and it's not beautifully perfect perfect. That's okay. Your home is lived in. That's your normal. And we need, we need more of that, especially in a world of social media perfects. So that's, if that's your jam, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the bell. It's completely free. It's just going to let you know every time that I upload a video. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get into this. I am just starting one thing at a time, picking it up. Where does it go? We're going to be making some piles. 
I'm going to get a trash bag. We end up filling up a very big trash bag. If you go to part one um, of the master bedroom, organize and declutter, we actually were able to donate a lot of stuff out of there. And my hope is while I'm going through my home and doing this in this little series that I'm doing that I can donate a lot of stuff. Um, but this room right here was a little bit of a challenge when it came to donating because a lot of this is like personal, personal hygiene things or cleaning supplies or stuff like that. And so I, I don't want to donate used hygiene things and, you know, half filled really old cleaning products. So a lot of the stuff in here we did end up throwing away. Um, but I did end up getting rid of some stuff from this room. And I will show you that at the end of the video, everything that we are going to donate. Um, in the process of cleaning out this room, I also found a bunch of organization containers that were actually from an old, old video that I did back in the apartment, the, the apartment we lived in before this house. And that was my Dollar Tree organization video. And we had a much bigger bathroom than much, a lot of storage in that apartment. Um, and so I bought all of those organization containers for underneath our bathroom sink. It was a double vanity. And, um, I guess when I moved here, I just didn't put them to use and I just kept them when I found them. And so when you'll see me, I'm going to get those all cleaned out and I'm actually going to utilize those in here as well. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. The best advice that I can give to you when you are dealing with just wanting to get rid of stuff in your home is that everything should have a home. So every single thing in your home should have a home 
inside your home (laughs) and a place where it goes where it is with the same thing just like it or with its cousins so like nail polish can go with the nail polish remover and you know if this cleaning supply can go with that cleaning supply and so everything is together in their own little families and their own homes And if you can't find a home for it, if you haven't used it, like a lot of the stuff at the bottom of this, some of the stuff I've been looking for forever, so I was very grateful I found it. But some of the stuff, like I was like, I have not even looked for this in two years, it can go. And so if I can't find a home for it, if I'm not gonna get rid, if I'm not gonna give it away, I'm gonna just get rid of it. I'm gonna throw it away in the trash. And that has been kind of my mindset going through this. And it's really helped a lot with my whole decluttering journey that I'm going through. So if you can't find a home, just get rid of it. This project took me an entire day. And because I still have kids to take care of and meals to make and that type of thing, I did have to come to a few stopping points. And so I'm what I'm showing you guys right now is just my stopping points and where everything is as of now. This is my organized chaos. So everything is together in their own little groups and now I'm going to go ahead and clear out these are the little organization bins that I told you guys about. I remember when I did this Dollar Tree organization video because I waited totally last minute to go to the Dollar Tree and get some stuff and I guess the Dollar Tree that I went to is like not a good one. You know how like some Dollar Trees are amazing and some are just like ich. Well I went to the ich one and this is all they had. But I got them anyway, and when I got home, I realized that they actually connect together, like side by side. They have these little connectors. You can connect them together. I thought that that was pretty cool. You can connect them, and um, I actually do connect a few of them whenever I put some of the stuff together in this video. So we're going to go ahead and get these cleaned out. And I guess I thought I was done as far as going through everything, putting my hands on everything. But do you see that little basket beside me with the iron in it? Yeah, I didn't go through that. So (laughs) once I get this, I will go through that basket beside me. And we actually end up donating these baskets. So the two blue baskets and the little pink basket because I didn't need them. And I was like, well, maybe I'll keep them and I'll be able to use them in a different room. But I was like, nope. That, that's old Kim mindset. Get rid of it. We don't have a home for it. Go ahead and get rid of it. If there's one thing that I've learned from doing this so far is that I, I'm no longer going to keep things that I might need one day in the future because honestly, nine times out of 10, I, I never end up using it and I'm going to end up donating it years down the road. There was some stuff in here that belonged in different rooms of the house. Like we had some toys in here, we we had some hangers, we had stuff like that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly get those out of the bathroom.
Okay, at this point, I had put my hands on everything, and I just wanted to kind of go through and show you what I had organized. So we have a steamer, a little portable heater, and an iron. This is all of my cleaning supplies I have together. This is all of our like first aid kit, band-aids, stuff like that. Then I've got next to that some nail polish, nail polish remover. We've got our toothbrushes, floss. Over here is all of my hair stuff hair products, and then I have body products, a little pile of my husband's things, and next to that, my face things. I found this really cool shelf behind the washer and dryer that I've never seen before, um, and my plan was to have my husband hang it up. He came in here and actually tried to for me, but he needs to get something else from Lowe's before he can hang it up. So once he can get that hung up on the wall, that's going to give me a lot more storage space. I'm gonna be honest, when I was done with this, I didn't like the way it looked because even though I kept everything that I kept, we do need and we do use, it still felt like a lot. And I think that's just because it's a lot of stuff and it's just on one shelf. So once he can get that hung up, I'm gonna get him to hang it up or put it on the wall right above my washer and dryer. That's gonna make it look a lot more organized in here and I'll make sure to film that. I'm gonna try to get him to go to Lowe's as soon as possible for that. I was very disappointed. He got his little stud finder out and was like, he did everything up until the point and he was like, I can't do this. He's like, I need another little part. I don't remember exactly why, but he wasn't able to hang it up. So that's okay though. Like I said, we're gonna work with what we've got. So now I'm just gonna quickly wipe everything down. It's just covered in dust and grossness in here. And then we are going to work on organizing things back into some organizational bins.
At this point, it became a little bit of a struggle for me because I was just trying to think, okay, what can I fit in these bins? I wish they were bigger. Um, I know I needed to separate things that we used daily because like every single day because I wanted to keep those under the bathroom sink. Um, but then I also needed to keep stuff like our band-aids and medicines and um, the hair stuff that the girls need for like dance classes and stuff like that. Um, maybe some clips that I wouldn't use every day, but extra hairbrushes, that type of thing. And so I was trying to think of a way of what needed to go onto the brown shelf and then what I was going to be able to fit underneath the bathroom sink since that's a very, very small area. Plus, I still needed to fit my husband's few things under there as well. And so this is where like you can kind of see me. I put things in. I take things out. I'm really like brainstorming. I'm kind of pause and look around. Um, and so this was where like I really put my brain to work. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and just put underneath our bathroom sink the stuff that we use on a daily basis, like every single day, um, or just, you know, like lady products that I don't want out in the open, um, and all of my husband's things as well, because there was no room for his things, but thankfully he doesn't have a lot of things, so that would, that would be a me problem. Um, but I do apologize for this angle. I'm going to show you guys whenever I'm putting this stuff underneath here, the bathroom, I all that stuff 
stuff, the little blue steamer, the ladybug, the bubbles, that little pile of stuff right there, that's actually giveaway stuff. And then I also had a pile of dirty laundry right next to it. So I wasn't able to angle my camera correctly to where you could see this, this room is very narrow, very awkward. And so it was really hard to get like the perfect camera shots while I was doing this. Um, so you won't get to see me like physically put everything in there, but I do give you an after shot at the end of the video. I bet you think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you. And that we're good the way we are. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I and since I only had one more load of laundry to put on to make this completely clean, I was not going to leave this video without doing it. So the load that we put on earlier, we are going to switch that over and get that last load of laundry in. And that way I have a perfectly clean laundry room and bathroom, at least until the next day. So work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you knock me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Now I just want to quickly show you this was the garbage bag everything is trash that came out of there and this is our little bit of giveaway stuff including the vacuum at the top we're going to be giving this all away and then I wanted to quickly show you how I organize things so games at the top cleaning supplies at the top right under that is cleaning supplies that I use more daily then I've got all of my extra hair care face products nail polish and then at the bottom we've got um, band-aids and things of that nature and at the very bottom my little green machine extra toilet paper and I also stored my vacuum I mean not my vacuum my broom and my mop bucket and all of that as well I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. And that is going to be it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you got a ton of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement from today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps it reach more people who may need to see it. And drop me a comment if you'd like so we can chat and hang out. And I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.